vampire movies had lost its bite by the end of the 1970s. They had become tired self-parody until he walked in. They were back, hip, sexy, and ready to party. This is a guilty pleasure for me. Richard Wenks, vamp. A group of guys go to town to find a party girl for a frat party. After an unfortunate run-in with a biker gang, they sally forth to a after dark club, which happens to be right up their alley. They settle in with a drink to watch the next performance. Enter multimedia icon Grace Jones. They found what they're looking for. The ladies man of the group gets an audience with the star and as they get jiggy with it, her bite changes the trajectory of the entire movie. Now I found a few tidbits about this movie. The fake hanging scene at the beginning, the executioner lip syncing, before the tape gets chewed up, the voice you actually hear is Oscar winner Christopher Plummer. The chair Katrina uses while she performs is actually made from a, a body cast of her ex-boyfriend Dolph Lundgren. Thank you IMDB. It wasn't a hit with the critics. It did okay at the box office, but it did a lot better on video. Fright Night was a tough act to follow, but Vamp has achieved cult status. I remember it on late night TV when I was a kid, and I always enjoyed it when I did see it. I mean, Grace Jones is a vampire. Why the fuck not?